What's up guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I know it's been a while, but I'm gonna be building another robot and this one's gonna be a glove that can control a robotic hand and I'm gonna be able to like move my fingers in the glove and it'll be able to move the robotic hand as well. So it'll be wireless, really cool, kind of like an infinity gauntlet type of thing. And I'm gonna be doing a little bit of 3D printing, a little bit of sewing of the glove, but I basically already have a bit of a head start. So I'm gonna show you what I have so far, but I'm really excited. Let's just get straight into the video. All right, so I have two boards right now. One of them is going to be the glove and the other one is going to be connected to the robotic hand. Let me start with this. So um, I'm using the Adafruit Feather NRF52840. They're about $25 on Adafruit, so I will link that down below. But what it's using right now is um, this flex sensor, which when you bend it, it actually changes like resistance here we can see in action right now it's printing a bunch of zeros and then once i bend it like that you see that the screen goes to like 800s now moving on to this board this is like i said going to be part of the robotic hand and that's why i have this servos right here so it's basically a little mini motor and it's really really easy to use i actually did have to plug in a um, six volt battery and that's because this motor actually does or servos it needs six volts while the board only provides three volts but otherwise all i did is connect the power ground and signal here and that's literally it once this board um, detects that there has been a movement then it'll send it wirelessly via bluetooth to this one and it's going to move the motor so it's going to tell the motor to bend say that finger so probably the most time consuming part of the code was figuring out how to get the two devices to communicate with each other via bluetooth and i did find this all online so i'm going to link those down below i'm also going to link all my code down below so yeah that's where i am right now next step is going to be to three print the hands, the fingers of the robot. And I'm gonna see if there's anything online because I'm sure people have done this before, but I have to make sure that it actually fits into these servos and I can like screw in like the plastic part. So that's gonna be a bit of a challenge to design, but I'm gonna do that and get back to you and let you guys know how that goes. I can't get this hand to hollow out in the middle. So I spent about a week trying every single possible method to shell this hand and every time it just says that like gives me an error and just says that like it's not possible so i think this is just a little bit too complex so what i did instead was i took a 2d image from google it's just a handprint and then i imported that into fusion 360 and then i extruded that so that it became 3d and i added this little platform at the bottom too to add stability each of the fingers actually does come off so they are little joints that I added and if you look closely in the middle everything's hollow and each of the fingers has a little spot for the servos to kind of fit in there and it definitely wasn't perfect I did have to go back in later with the hot glue gun and fix things but I ended up just 3d printing it with my printer it took about four different runs and like eight hours each okay so I'm now working on the wiring of the glove and as you can see this is the board that I showed you before it's really thick so I want to move it onto one of these proto boards which is like super thin and can actually fit inside the glove but the problem is that i actually already soldered like the legs onto the feather board so i need to take these off and it's just literally not coming off i've been trying to use this like desoldering thing to take off the solder and it just still like will not budge so i'll probably spend some time doing that there's only six left okay look at this beauty Okay, so next up is to do the wiring of the glove. So now that I got the feather board free, I'm just soldering the sensors and the proto board and the feather board together. And here's the wiring diagram that I used. I actually did 10K resistors because that's what the flex sensor said to do. And it looks complicated, but it's actually just the same circuit that I showed you guys in the beginning, but now for all five sensors. And last thing, I used a LiPo battery, which is the thing on the left, and that's so I don't have to keep it plugged into my laptop the whole time. So. There we go, that's the final wiring for the glove. So next I'm wiring the robotic hand and I'm just grabbing more of those servos and some wires and this is the exact same way that I wired the very first 
part in the beginning of the video so it's pretty straightforward and then here you can see all my printed parts are done so I'm going to be assembling the actual robotic hand so I'm grabbing the two halves of the palm and putting those two together and then I'm taking each of the fingers and those are gonna go on top like that and the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna hot glue each of the servos down to the palm as you can see here and then I'm gonna hot glue the spinny part to the finger so that it'll be able to spin and move freely so next time you see the robotic hand it'll be completely finished Okay, so now for sewing the glove, I have two pieces of black fabric. One is more of an athletic material, and one is just like a cotton t-shirt. So that's going to be for the different types of layers on the glove. This is the back of the hand, so it's like that. This is going to be like a flap with Velcro on here and here. And then inside is going to be the electronics, one for each finger. And then the third layer is just going to be a regular hand, and this is going to be made out of the t-shirt material. So this is the final reveal of the glove and it actually turned out so good. The electronics fit perfectly inside the glove and the robotic hand actually took a little bit more effort. I had to use hot glue and kind of melt some of the fingers in place. But here's a quick demo of the robotic hand in action. It's also completely wireless, which I thought was so cool because of the LiPo batteries and also the Bluetooth. And another small detail that I added was this hole in the side of the hand so I could charge it. I thought that this was a really fun project and if you think so too, you can definitely check out the files in the description box. Okay, so that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye!